program, right? Certainly, they've had about 30 kids sign up over the last couple of weeks. Some interested in boxing, others need some help with their homework. But then as you talk to a few of these kids, you realize, well, they're teenagers. They've got some anger issues and some have much deeper challenges to deal with. Teenagers in South Salt Lake have found a place to transform themselves. A place where the fights have rules and the goal is clear. They need to know respect. They need to know what it is to respect each other. They need to know that they're boxers and not fighters. Marcus DePorto boxed for the last seven years. He just recently found this program. I've had a lot of my friends drop out, Latino friends, but I gotta stay in school. I wanna graduate to be a mechanic. Boxing is the motivator, but the afternoon begins here in the classroom where they can do their homework and get tutored on different subjects. Then they get into the gym. I wanna be the first one in my family to graduate. Mildred Garcia came to the gym because her friends signed up. Now she sees boxing as a way to deal with a troubled past. When I was on the day of my birthday, my dad left to Mexico because his dad was sick. I turned 10. From there, it all just went downhill. That was four years ago. A dozen of these kids prepared the refurbished gymnasium. For the crowds who came to dedicate it as the Pete Suazo Boxing Gym. Trained right. The late state senator's sister, Becky, says this gym will carry on his hope. We could get an Olympian out of Utah, and we're looking at getting an Olympian out of South Salt Lake. It will also be a place of safety, and for some, a chance to start over. You know in paintings how you mess up, and you paint over it? I want to do that with the community. Well, a very emotional night for Pete Suazo's family, and his children, his wife, also here tonight, along with Becky Suazo, his sister. The Police Athletic League is the nonprofit organization that made this happen. It took them a long time to get this all together, but now they got some volunteers in place, some coaches, a number of them are police officers, really hoping this gives kids a safe place and a focused place to come and get some help after school. Back to you, Mark and Sean. All right, feels.